Hey everyone, I'm back with a review video this time on the Strathberry Midi Toad. I featured this bag in a previous tag video and some comments were asking for a review. So in this video, I will be showing what fits inside this bag, wear and tear, mod shots, and if I recommend it. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. This beautiful light gray one belongs to my mom. She still has the protective stickers on it and we bought it in March of 2020 in London. We each got the Twilly to protect the handles. It has gold hardware and inside a soft microfiber lining, two pockets, one zip pocket, and you see the gold hardware has Strathberry etched on it. It has magnetic closure. The straps are completely detachable and adjustable and her strap is the same color as the bag. The strap just attaches this way. It's really beautiful. You can see Strathberry on it. So the details are really, really nice on this bag and I love the way it closes. Very, very elegant and very, very beautiful, reasonably priced bag as well. I will be including more mod shots later, but first let's see what fits inside. This burgundy one with navy blue details, white handle and white straps belongs to me. So inside, it says made in Spain. All their totes are made in Spain. It fits a ton of items. So first, my Louis Vuitton key pouch in the zipped pocket is my Hermes Calvi card holder which is the regular size card holder this is the airpods I just put it in the slip pocket there and as you can see there's a ton of room I have this huge pouch from Pandora which I it's waterproof and wipeable, so I just put in things that I'm afraid will spill in my bag, like hand sanitizer, um, moisturizer, so yeah, Cetaphil moisturizer, <laughs> my makeup, I need a new foundation, and yeah, so you can definitely fit in more in there, but these are what I bring typically. And usually if I have my card holders, I don't need a full-size wallet, but I wanted to show that a full-sized wallet fits inside this bag easily. And of course, an essential if you're living in Asia or somewhere which has unpredictable weather, a mini umbrella. And all of that fits in this bag. So it is a very, very ideal everyday bag. And I just love this unique opening. And as you can see, I'm putting the things back inside just so that you can see how it all fits. I'm putting the things back in the pouch as well. So here you go. Usually I should put the keys inside the pouch, but I was in a rush and finally the airpods and let's see it just closes perfectly and yes beautiful i love this bag so much it can be used for work for casual events anything and here's the mod shot so i really fell in love with my mom's bag she has the greenish gray twilly on it but the bag itself is a real true light gray. Please, please DM me on Instagram at Ari Buy Stuff if you're interested in this bag as she has decided to let go of her bag. So let me know if you're interested. I would like to show the wear and tear. And firstly, the silk scarf. Of course, after being tied onto the handle, it is wrinkled in this way but it is 100% silk 
and it feels really really nice luxurious smooth the bag itself has zero color transfer that i can find and the feet so i took off one of the stickers and on the feet you know there's no scuffs or anything to say no scratches on the leather as well the handle is completely clean as it always had the twilly on it i just love the neat clean lines that strathberry designs they have many different bag designs and my favorite is just this tote it comes in a much smaller size as well i wish that they had come out with a medium between this and their nano tote as the nano tote is just too small for me the strap itself has no color transfer it is in brand new condition even after using it for over a year so this is the lighter colored bag and you know my bag was dark uh darker colored and of course my bag has no color transfer or scratches as well so uh overall i would really recommend for you to check out strathberry and their bag designs they are very reasonably priced this one just comes over 1000 singapore dollars and i believe it is definitely worth it so Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!